If your computer desktop looks something like this, you should probably continue watching this video. Unnecessarily going through clutter in our computer and digital workspace is wasteful. And wasting our already limited time, energy, and attention means that we'd have less of them for the activities that actually generate results or for the meaningful engagements and activities outside of work. So to prevent this problem from occurring or from repeatedly reoccurring, we could apply the 5S methodology from Lean Six Sigma in order to declutter our digital workspaces and practice digital hygiene. Mabuhay! Welcome to another episode of Working From Home with me, your homeboy, Ronnie Pet. This episode is about digital decluttering and practicing digital hygiene using the 5S methodology. So what are the 5S's? Well, they stand for 5 Japanese words and their English equivalents. And they are Seri, to sort, Setong, to set in order, Seso, to shine or to sweep, Sekets, to standardize, Shitsuke, to sustain. So why are they Japanese words, you may ask? Well, the 5S methodology was popularized by the Japanese car manufacturer, Toyota. You've probably heard of them. According to LeanSixSigmaDefinition.com, the 5S methodology helps a workplace remove items that are no longer needed, sort, organize the items to optimize efficiency and flow, straighten, clean the area in order to more easily identify problems, shine, implement color coding and labels to stay consistent with other areas, standardize, and develop behaviors that keep the workplace organized over the long term, sustain. This methodology is usually applied to a physical production workspace, but I think we can apply its concepts into keeping our digital workspaces in order, and I'm pretty sure other people already have. So now that we have a basic overview of what the 5S methodology is, Let's go through them one by one and see how we can apply them to our digital workspaces. The first S is Seri or Sort. It is about sorting through the items in your workspace and removing everything that is unnecessary. Our end goal here is to reduce the number of items by removing unnecessary ones. So this could help us reduce the time loss in looking for things, reduce the chances of being distracted, simplify inspection, and increase the amount of available useful space. So how to do it? First, check all items in a location and evaluate whether or not their presence at the location is useful or necessary. Second, remove unnecessary items as soon as possible. If you cannot immediately remove an item, place it in a red tag folder so it will be easier to remove them later on. Personally, I make clearly named temporary folders where I can put random files in when I don't know where to put them yet, or for files to be deleted after using them. The second does is Seetong, or setting in order. It is about putting things in their optimal locations. So there should be a place for everything, and everything in its place. The goal during this step is to make our workflows smoother and more efficient. So let me give you an example. I am a video editor. I deal with a lot of video, image, audio, and motion graphics files on a daily basis. There could be some items that are shared within projects, and there are items that are separate from each other. So imagine if I have a thousand video clips, 10,000 images, 500 audio files, and they are not set in order, it would take a lot of time for me to find what I'm looking for. Or if something in a project file gets corrupt, issues are easier for me to solve if I know which part of my computer I need to go to. So for my workflow, it's impossible to have just one place for all videos, all audio files. So I use a fixed folder structure. So there'd be a folder like project A, and then there'd be some folders like edited files, drafts, assets, and then assets, those are the source files, it could be further divided into from camera A, from camera B, from person X, from person Y, stock footages, so things like that. So arrange all necessary items so that they can be easily found when you need them. Then assign fixed locations for items, or in my case, fixed folder structures for every project. And lastly, clearly label or name your storage locations and your folders. Again, there should be a place for everything and everything in its place. Next up is Seso. It's usually translated as sweep or shine in the 5S context. This step refers to cleaning and inspecting your workspace and your tools on a regular basis. In the manufacturing production workspace, 
This S helps improve the production process efficiency and safety, reduces waste, prevents errors and defects, and keeps the whole workplace clean and pleasing to the eye. In the context of digital decluttering, I see this as sweeping through your files and your folders, your computer regularly. As we continue working, new things, new files, new items will be downloaded to our computer. Some files would have to be taken out or deleted. So if we don't monitor these, if we don't sweep through these items regularly, we'll be going back to step one. We'll be ending up with clutter again. The fourth S stands for SECETS or standardize. Standardize what? Standardize the processes that we use to sort, set in order, and clean our digital workspaces. If we can standardize these processes, it would be easier for us to apply them to new items or to old items that become clutter once again. It is important to have a frequent regular schedule for this because it helps us keep things under control. Think of it as like taking a shower. If you shower now, you will feel fresh and clean. But that benefit of showering does not last forever. If you want to sustain that benefit, you have to do it again tomorrow. And you have to do it again and again and again. So it's the same thing with decluttering. If we just do it today and then leave it as is and never have to go through it again, and never have to maintain that system, we will be going back to where we started. And that's not something that we want to happen. The last S stands for Shitsuke or Sustain. The 4 S's described above can help make our workflows more efficient and keep our digital workspaces less cluttered. But to reap the benefits long term, we have to sustain this practice through self-discipline. We have to go back again to the first S and go through the cycle. Not only is this a system of maintenance, but also of improvement as we are able to refine our systems over time. The more we go through them again and again. So the 5S methodology is considered to be a low-cost, high-impact system if we decide to implement it. But we should note that decluttering is not a one-time, big-time activity. It is a system. It needs to be kept running. It needs to be maintained for the performance and the benefits to be sustained. So like regular toothbrushing is part of our personal hygiene, we could consider applying the 5S methodology as part of our digital hygiene. So we do it regularly. Just to get it out of the way, I'm not an organization expert. Like you, I'm just a regular person who encountered this problem and is no longer willing to tolerate it. Addressing our problems sustainably so they stop occurring again in the future. So that's it for this episode. I hope I was able to share something of value to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Doing so would help me produce more material like this for this channel. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this methodology or if you have a better system to combat digital clutter. I hope we spark a conversation so that we become a community where we help each other deal with problems like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in another episode.